Okay, good afternoon. Today's uh, Friday, I do believe, 30th of October 2020. What I'm doing today, and I started this yesterday, is uh, getting the Outback back up and running. I've got my uh, PVC wire separated. I had to uh, crimp and solder these wires back on to get them out of the box. Midnight's cranking away. Finally stopped raining after like four days. So now I gotta run my conduit boxes too. I'm using materials I have here on hand for this particular job. So I'll be back in a little while as I get further along. And that's what the inside of the uh, magnum panel looks like. So I've gotta run a uh, negative and a positive to the battery bank which would be this breaker and then I split the piece PV in lines which were here and now the outback is going to go through here 63 amps in 63 amps out more than enough so I'll be back in a little while as I uh, get more of this done more to come okay about 70 minutes later I've got the conduit in I got the uh, number six coming in from the solar PV input going up to the 63 amp breaker out and around back down through these boxes and up to the positive and negative and this is what the battery cables are going to look like from the charge controller uh, number four cable number four gauge cable is going to go from the battery positive negative through here down through here across here and I'm going to try to get it in this hole right here. And I can go straight up to the breaker, negative up to the uh, negative bus bar up there. And then it's time to go outside and tie this all together. Put the uh, double breaker uh, combiner box I built up on the, the new solar tracker and hook up all the wires none of this is live right now it's just all out dead in the box so that's what i got done so far and then i can close up this uh magnum panel all right i'm going to start running the dc cables uh to the battery bank i'll be back okay there it is finished product as usual took longer than i expected to fit it together nicely using components I had in stock here. PV outside for the Outback is not hooked up. I'll do that tomorrow. That's the PV breaker for the Outback. I have to label it. That's the DC battery bank. When I flip that, you'll see the Outback come on. There she goes. All right, I don't need to be on right now. So that's it. That's how we installed it. Everything tucked in nice and safe out of the way. I did not glue the PVC. Just for the fact if uh, one of these components dies and I gotta get back in there, it, you just never get the wiring out. All right, so one step closer. Tomorrow I'll uh, Try to wire up the solar tracker and get some power coming in. So that's it for now. Mama. Okay, I've got the Outback uh, on. Uh, next is to go out to the pole. Take the uh, breaker slash combiner box. Mount this on the uh, solar tracker pole. Then I'm going to have to uh, tilt the panels down. Measure the PV input and home runs coming down to the combiner box. And at that point in time, I can do a systems check. And then I can uh, turn the juice off on the upper three panels and the lower three panels in series. Independently, as they should be with these switches. And then I can come in here and pull, push this little switch up, which would be PV in for the outback. Alright, so I'm going to go outside and set that up. 
I'll be back when there's more to show. May have to make some changes here. I'm going to have the solar tracker control wires also exiting this conduit. Probably going to put them out here. I don't know. We'll have to see how that works out. That'll have to be done on a pole. Anyway, I'll be back. Hopefully this will be running here in a couple hours. Okay, got the box up on the pole. These long wires here are for the east-west-north-south actuator. Now I'm going to let this down. I'm going to build my negative positive for both the top string and the bottom string. Run those down. And then the positive on each side will come back and I go into these over here. And I'll combine my negatives in on this side. And then I think I'm going to have to drill some holes up here these actuator wires to come in where I can tie them together. All right, more to come. I thought this would be a two minute job, but that never happens. Okay, I'm going to make one of my first uh, home run cables for the positive side of the combiner box, which will be positive on one end and negative on the other. So I'm working on a negative side, and I've got uh, both types of crimpers. We've got the uh, big heavy duty hydraulic ones here for battery cables. And then I got this on eBay. E kit. And it came with the uh, crimpers, all the bags of stuff you need to put cables together. You're going to be messing with this stuff. It's nice to have the right tools. So, anyway, here it goes. I've, uh, hopefully, I didn't just toss it. I did. You gotta remember to put your end on, put your little seal on, make sure the other seal is in here on this side. Like I said, I've already started to crimp it a little bit so it would make the demonstration easier. That just goes on. And there's three different sizes on the crimper. This particular one likes the biggest one. And if I can get it going. You just stick it in there. There's an adjustment here for your depth. You give it a squeeze. There you go. Perfect. Now, I used to do this by hand with regular crimpers for wire. Get yourself a set of these if you're going to be doing solar. It's just wonderful. Okay, there you go. Just that easy. I'll be back when there's more. Okay, it's getting pretty late in the day. I'm going to go plug the last uh, home run on the negative side. Flip these breakers on. And I'll be right back. Be right back. Okay, I'm going to flip the uh, switches in the Midnight Solar Combiner box. Which would be this 30 amp one right here. Okay. Gonna go inside. Click on the uh, outback. Be right back. Okay, I'm going to flip the uh, PV in for the outback. We'll see what happens. Twenty-nine point eight. I'm gonna carry over here on the tripod. Ah, oh, shoot! I'm stuck. Why is it not charging? I'm loaded. I don't understand what's going on here. Well, I got power coming in. 
Nothing going out. Maybe because that one's on float. Let me shut off the midnight. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. This will have to be one of those to be continued. Figure out why this isn't working. Unloaded. I've never seen that before. Alright, I'll have to get back.